So my name is Dr. A. Sidney Williams. Uh, I'm a glaucoma specialist and still in practice in San Mateo. I uh, am also working at UC San Francisco in the Department of uh, Ophthalmology as a glaucoma specialist. The topic was finding your A-team to treat glaucoma. And it was a session on patient ideas when you get the diagnosis of glaucoma. Should you seek a second opinion? What information should you seek from your specialist? Uh, when you should see a glaucoma specialist? How important is it to take eye drops? And what are tricks to take eye drops carefully? Um, a couple of the panelists were patients themselves and shared their stories of how they were diagnosed with glaucoma, how it affected their life, and the things, the steps that they, that they pursued to try to understand the disease better and, and to follow it more closely. I would say that the main takeaway points are to be an advocate for your care. Uh, from a patient view, you have to advocate for yourself. Doctors are busy, doctors are, today are rushed and harried, and there's not as much time, unfortunately, for face-to-face. -face. Computers pull us away, and lots of patients pull us away. But you have to get your questions answered and your information about glaucoma. It's a very difficult disease to understand, and at its early stages has no symptom. So with no symptoms at all, you feel like you're perfectly fine, and yet you're given this diagnosis and you're given a, a job to do. Take these eye drops and take them religiously and you for the most part believe you have nothing wrong. Um, that's one of the really important things is to understand that glaucoma is just a silent disease in its early stages and yet all the ravages of glaucoma can be prevented if you take your drops and are carefully managed early on. Um, that I think is one of the real important things from, from this session. Several other things came on. It's important to understand that glaucoma, for the most part, is a slow disease. It's not a fast disease. It's not a disease that results in blindness for the majority of patients that are diagnosed with it. A small percentage, maybe 10% of patients who are diagnosed with glaucoma will lose their vision in their lifetime or have severe functional visual loss. But 90% will not. It's still important to take your treatment to prevent that and to decrease your risk of losing vision. Well, I think it's uh, a great thing that they organized this glaucoma summit. A patient can really get an idea of the steps that they can take to further their interactions with their doctor, uh, to understand when a second opinion might be necessary, to understand when it's important to see a glaucoma subspecialist to understand what a glaucoma subspecialist actually is and how the training is and, and what they do. And also to interact with other patients and some doctors in a kind of informal format in, in a way where you can hear stories of other, other people that have followed the same path that you're following. Some a little bit more advanced, some a little less advanced. And um, it's a, there's a lot to understand about glaucoma and there's a lot of art in treating glaucoma. It's not a disease where there are real clear treatments for everybody that go the same way. So the disease advances differently in different people. Uh, it can be more rapid in some, more slow in others. Patients tolerate drops differently. So some people you want to use laser early, some you don't use laser in at all. Um, so there's a lot of things to go through with glaucoma and, and uh, the more you the more information you have, the better prepared you are to, to understand your future and to treat, treat yourself carefully. You have to do a lot of research. There's a lot on glaucoma.org that patients can find. But um, it's, it's also, I think, a great way to come and speak to leading glaucoma specialists and uh, get your questions answered in an informal way.